Hello friends. Today we will start new chapter, chapter number third, forward and inverse kinematics. So before that, we will take simple review of chapter number first, second, and seven. So in that chapter number first, we already covered the introduction or introduction to the robotics. then historical perspective of the robotics degrees of freedom concept of degrees of freedom so in that second chapter means peripheral devices so sensors actuators and end effectors these are the different peripheral devices used in robotics uh, then classification of sensors classification of actuators and classification of end effectors or exactly difference between hydraulic drive pneumatic drive and electric drive and next chapter application of industrial robot so in that next chapter we already covered different applications of robot manipulator in various field so today we will show you the exactly difference between forward and inverse kinematics or concept of forward and inverse kinematics so before that all are familiar with concept of kinematics or what is particularly meaning of kinematics so definition of kinematics kinematics is a branch of mechanics which deals with study of motions of body with considering the forces causing the motion this is the simply definition of kinematics or concept of forward and inverse kinematics so forward and inverse kinematics are the methods to calculate coordinates of end effector and joint or find out coordinates of end effector and joint angle respectively so next is the forward and inverse kinematics so this figure shows exactly line diagram of industrial manipulator means all are familiar with concept of industrial manipulator okay means industrial manipulator is simply combination of four mechanical links and three joints so in case of industrial manipulator this is the link number first link number second link number third means a robotic manipulator can be modeled as the chain of rigid bodies called as link okay means link number first link number second and link number third as shown in figure okay so this is the base base act as a foundation of the robot this is the link number first link number second and link number third okay and this is the end effector so end effector is nothing but hand of robot which is directly connected to last joint okay so l1 is the length of link number first l2 is the length of link number second and l3 is the length of link number third okay and industrial robot or industrial manipulator having three joint first is the shoulder joint second elbow joint and third wrist joint so this is the simply construction detail of industrial robot so in today's lecture we are going to discuss difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics so in that forward kinematics in that forward kinematics Uh, forward kinematics is the process to get coordinates of end effector from given angle of all joints okay means one end of the chain or chain link is fixed to base while the other end is free to move okay means end effector is directly connected to last joint okay so forward and inverse kinematics the position of end effector or arm may be represent in number of ways one way is to utilize the two joint or two joint angles theta 1 and theta 2 this this or uh, this known as representation of joint space and 
we may be defined as p is equal to theta 1 comma theta 2 comma theta k so basic difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics in that forward kinematics you have to determine where the robot's hand is okay or in that forward kinematics if all joint variables are known okay so this is the simply figure of forward kinematics there are two different angles or two different points position parameters or joint angle parameters so in that forward so position means exactly orientation of robot hand means exactly position of or exactly x uh, coordinates x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate of robot hand in that joint space trajectory theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 means all joint angles okay so in forward kinematics case you have to find out exactly position and orientation of robot hand by knowing the theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 and in that inverse kinematics you have to find out joint angles okay so this figure or next figure shows exactly difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics in that forward kinematics all joint space coordinates or all joint space parameters are given means theta 1 theta 2 theta up to theta n are given then length different lengths are given and you have to find out a known position or cartesian space means p x comma y means x coordinate and y coordinate so this concept is known as forward kinematics and in that inverse kinematics x y or z means cartesian space coordinate or cartesian space parameters are given means x coordinates y coordinate and z coordinates are given and you have to find out joint space coordinator or joint angles like theta 1 theta 2 up to theta i this is the difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics means forward kinematics means to determine where the robot hand is or if all joint variables are given means theta 1 theta 2 l1 l2 all joint variables are given and you have to find out a known position of robot end effector or cartesian space or cartesian coordinate of robot end effector in that inverse kinematics or reverse kinematics you have to calculate what each joint variable is okay or if we desire that the hand to locate it to particular joint so in case of inverse kinematics all cartesian coordinates or cartesian parameters means x y and z coordinates are given and uh, different length of links are given means l1 l2 l3 these are the given parameters and you have to find out joint angles means theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 respectively so we will then next is how you can find out or how you can differ the forward kinematics and inverse kinematics as per the uh, given parameters or exactly finding so in case of or we are interested in two kinematics topics forward kinematics and inverse kinematics in forward kinematics forward kinematics is known as angle to position uh, kinematics and in inverse kinematics is known as position to angle position to angle uh, coordinates so in that forward kinematics uh, forward kinematics is the process to get coordinates of end effector from given angle of all joints and in that inverse kinematics so this is the simply uh, concept of forward kinematics so what you are given in forward kinematics case the length of each link okay means length of link number first length of link number second length of link number third all are the given parameter then the angle of each joint means theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 these are the given parameters okay means in forward kinematics l1 l2 l3 theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 these are the given parameters and you have to find out the position of any point means 
unknown position and orientation of robot hand in workspace means coordinates of point p x comma y comma z this is the finding of forward kinematics means you have to find out the unknown position and orientation of robot hand in workspace or cartesian coordinates p x comma y comma z so this concept is known as forward kinematics in that inverse kinematics okay means inverse kinematic problem position to angles so in that inverse kinematics inverse kinematics is the process to get all joint angles from the given coordinates okay so in uh, case of inverse kinematics what are the different parameters given parameters so these are the different given parameters of inverse kinematics okay means what you are given the length of inch length means l1 l2 l3 okay and given parameter next given parameter the position of same point on of the robot means cartesian coordinates are given p x comma y comma z okay and you have to find out theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 means you have to find out the angle of each joint needed to be obtained to position means in inverse kinematics is the process to get all joint angles from the given coordinate system this is the simply concept of forward and inverse kinematics or exactly difference between forward and inverse kinematics forward and inverse kinematics are the methods to calculate coordinates of any factors and joint angles respectively means the position of end, end of arm may be represent in number of ways one way is to be utilize the two joint angles theta 1 and theta 2 so this is the basic difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics in case of forward kinematics these are the given parameters l1 l2 l3 then theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 and you have to find out unknown position and orientation means cartesian coordinates of end factor x comma y comma z means you have to find out exactly position of point p in cartesian space p x comma y comma z and in that inverse kinematics inverse kinematics means reverse kinematics in case of inverse kinematics these are the give different given parameters like l1 l2 l3 these are the three lengths of length number uh, link number first link number second and link number third and unknown position for cartesian coordinates of any factor p x comma y comma z and you have to find out the angles or the angles of each joint needed to obtain that position so this is the simply difference between forward and inverse kinematics so forward and inverse kinematics are the methods to calculate coordinates of end factor and joint angle respectively so this is the basic difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics okay this forward kinematics is the process to get coordinates and end factor from given angle of all joints and inverse kinematics is the process to get all joint angles from the given coordinates so theta 1 theta 2 up to uh, theta 3 up to theta n these are the joint space parameters and p x comma y is the cartesian space coordinates so this is the basic difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics according to given parameters and findings okay means, means in case of forward kinematics these are the given parameters l1 l2 l3 theta1 theta2 theta3 okay and you have to find out unknown position of end factor in three dimensional space and in case of reverse direction or reverse kinematics or inverse kinematics these are the given parameters l1 l2 l3 l1 l2 l3 
then unknown position or uh, Cartesian space coordinates p x comma y comma z and again you have to find out theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 means the angles of each joint needed to obtain the position this is the exactly difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics or these figures figure number first and figure number second shows the difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics and this is the line diagram of industrial manipulator L1, L2, L3 these are the three links and base act as a foundation these are the three joints and you have to find out unknown position and orientation p x comma y in three dimensional space